Um, let me turn this on. And then... Wrong thing. This is great. This is amazing, actually. Also, I'm pretty sure. Is it not? So, so like, you should close. Like, I, I close. did. I did. Do it again, or like, close both coins. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah, it's so loud, it's so loud, it's so loud. Oh, 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 oh. Hey guys, hey guys. There you go, I told you. I know, and I just did it. Right, right, right. Fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Um. I need to actually go on the gameplay real quick because I'm pretty sure I, it's not right. It, oh, yeah. There we go. All right, now we're good. A pull, and we should be good. Are you commentating or no? Nah. All right. Um. I'm not paying attention to bands right now, so I might just have to ask you again. First ban from uh, blue team. Oh, do I have everything? I don't have a video. Oh, the first ban from Moonstone is going to be Hard Rock 3. Um, not an enjoyer of having to play Hard Rock Rhythm, and honestly, I don't really blame them. That map's really demon. So. Bungling fan, he's gonna have a double ban here, and his first ban is gonna be no much free. Oh, what's the ID for this? Is it 70 days? It is there. Uh, let me get this. Let My stomach is feeling too good right now because I had to like fresh eating and I had to like run all over like my house and uh, get here and do some other stuff but it's okay, it's okay, we're good, we're here and I'm going to find a hidden one band again, well, not again but it's a second and last band. And for the last band, it's going to be DT3. Oh, that's not for. No. It's going to be Hipsy Square. Oh my god, alright. I'm like all over the place right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> Pick is gonna be pre mod one getting the anti mod out of the way immediately. And mod one, I mean, as I mentioned, it is anti mod, but it's um, it is a uh, Amy anti mod with it being low BPM. The aim is gonna be 
Pretty tough on both mods. It can be pretty awkward, pretty tough on both mods. So... It's going to be interesting to see what mods they pick and also how this map plays out. That's good luck, have fun, they're getting sent. We're going to be heading into the map very, very soon. And both players, um, not going the same mod, I don't know why I said that. Uh, Bungo going, going Hard Rock and Musical going Hidden. And this is where it gets exciting as they are going different mods, so it's going to be interesting to see who plays better on which mod, but Bung Wong did find an early break, um, mattering just only a bit as Memesicle does have a about 80 combo, no, more like a 60-70 combo advantage. Also having the accuracy advantage by about 9%, which is massive, making the gap already grow into 60k. So far it's looking very good for Memesicle and very bad for Bungwong as it is their first pick. So. We're just going to see how this plays out as we get into the first TI. Both players still holding. And they both seem very comfortable on this TI. But none of them are breaking. Bungwong is struggling on the act department. But they just find a miss right after the first KI. Literally on the first note that leads from the KI to the slow section. Very unfortunate break for Bungwong and a very good, very good position to be in if you're Memesicle. As they're about, he's about to double the score of Bungwong right now. The gap being now 230k and growing fast as we get into the second KI. He's still holding strong with 98.5 accuracy with the FC intact. And as we are in this slope section of the map, I think it's already decided that Meme Skull has gotten the breakpoint. The first map of the match it is a breakpoint, but the bigger question is will Meme Skull close out an FC on Hidden? I think this might be the first hidden potential FC we can see on this mod 1 for the weekend. And as we get past those big jumps, Past the final Ki, Memesicle is still holding on, and I think he's going to close it out. And he does! He closes out the hidden FC for Fremod 1. I'm pretty sure that is the first hidden FC for this week, for this weekend. And what an amazing score. What, what a performance for Memesicle. And it definitely sends a statement. To Bungwong, you need to be careful. You need to be careful with Memesicle, even though he is the lower seed. Being seeded 53, you can't underestimate your opponent because one mispick, one breakpoint, it can decide the match. And fortunately for Memesicle, he's going to be up very early 1 0. I forgot to do that. And now. It's Meme Seagull's pick. With Meme Seagull banning the Hard Rocks and Hard Rock and the Beachy, I mean, I think it's safe to say that, and going hidden on the free mod, I think it's safe to assume that Meme Seagull isn't going to be comfortable on these higher AR maps. So I think he's going to have to steer clear from those hard rocks and if they do get picked he just, to, he just has to pray and hold on to the combo for dear life but we'll see 
as we get into the hidden two. I mean, Memesco already showed his hidden proficiency with the free mod one, being able to see it. But um, this is an entirely different skill set on hidden. As I'm gonna turn down the music a little bit, so hopefully we don't get DMCA'd, but um, or copyrighted, but um. Is it not show? There's a pick. Hold on. It does not show up as a pick. That's great. Anyways, it is hidden to a completely, completely different skill set we're gonna be seeing here, as opposed to the anti mod here, the Memesicle I'm seeing on AR8. We're gonna be seeing AR9.2 CS7.2 precision here on hidden, and I'm excited. I'm excited to watch this. I mean, Memesicle's already shown that he is more than comfortable on reading Hidden, at low AR at least. So, we're gonna see if he's gonna be able to transfer that skill into reading 7.2 precision on Hidden. Bangwang, on the other hand, he did prefer to go Hard Rock, but it was Era 8, so maybe he can play Hidden. Or at least, maybe the precision, because he did take Hard Rock, he did get around 480k or 400k. So, he is somewhat comfortable on this precision, but it being on Hidden, it might be a bit more uncomfortable for him. But we'll just have to wait and see. But I should probably talk more so it doesn't get DMCA'd. But, um, we get into this. First Ki, both players are still holding, and as soon as I say that, Bungwung does find a slider break. And now, it is in Memesicle's advantage. And both accuracy and combo, as Memesicle is still FCing, meanwhile Bungwung finds another slider break on these back and forth sliders. And this makes perfect sense for a first pick as he's still holding an FC and Bungwang is just struggling to keep up in both the combo and the Axie department. The, the gap just keeps growing more and more as Musical gets further into the map with an FC. We're about to be approaching 300k score gap. Getting to this last ki. And as we get into this last ki, it's just over for Bungwong, and we get the same question again. Is Memesicle, is, is he going to close out another FC? Back-to-back -back FCs. As we get into the last back-and-forth pattern of this map, he's still going strong. And I think... Oh, but he doesn't! He doesn't find another FC! Slider breaks at the very end. But nonetheless, it guarantees him the point. And he's already up 2 0, and doing so in a very convincing fashion. That is one way to start this match, and it's just, it's just looking so good for Musical right now. And now you just have to wonder what Bungwong is going to go into. I think he might go into the Hard Rock as if if Bungwong is strong in this Hard Rock picks, then I think he's going to be able to get the point because I, I can only assume that Meme School can't play high, high AR with these bands. But Bungwong confessing that he has no picks. He's not confident in any of these picks. And um, it's very unfortunate to have like no picks. The second pick. Musical also saying that was his only one pick. It's gonna be very interesting to see how the rest of this match plays out if both players are saying they have no picks left. But Bangwang does go into Nomad 5. And um, Memes, 
Maybe Skull did say that Nomad 3 was going to be his other pick, but unfortunately it is banned. So. Oh. So he has a message. A single tap. Don't tell me he's going to single tap this. Please don't tell me he's going to single tap this. I mean, that might just be completely unrelated, but... I'm afraid that him mentioning his single tap and getting better when he chooses the alt map, it might indicate that he, he will single tap this entire map, which would be insane. Um, with it being 150 BPM, that is 300 BPM single tap. So, I mean, I heavily, I'm heavily doubting if he will single tap only on this map, but I mean, I'll just have to wait and see and find out for myself as we get into Nomad. Five, this is an absolute banger. And if the artist are, didn't already give it away, this is an alt map. And um, it's going to be about 3 minutes and 11 seconds of drain time. Of just straight alt. Straight flow alt. So, we're just going to have to see. And I know that Bungwon has been struggling the act compartment for this match. And unfortunately, this map, this map's OD is higher than normal. So it's just not going to help Bungwon. But... The break from Memesicle early might be able to help him as he's in the advantage by 70 combo. But right now, Memesicle does have the score lead, very slight score lead because of Bungwung's act. I mean, I mean, I, I was afraid of Bungwung's act and I, it's just, he's just struggling on the act department. Why is he single tapping? He's single tapping. Oh my god. Why is he single tapping? I mean, these are pretty short floor patterns, so. But as they get more space and as they get longer, I don't know if he's going to be able to keep up this single tap consistency for long. But so far, it's looking really good for him as he's holding on to that FC. But Musical is still in the score lead just based off Ak with him having 98 accuracy. And Bungwung only having about 93, but Bungwung finds a miss, and that is so bad for him. He wasn't even in, he wasn't even in the lead when he was FCing. Now they both see at the break. Bungwung having zero combo while Memesical is still holding on to that reverse choke. And Memesical. Sorry, I, I okay. sorry. Um, had to check up on something really quick. But Musical was folding in the slow part. But as we got into the Ki, Musical did find a break. His huge combo advantage is now gone, and the combo advantage is now in Bungwung's favor by about a hundred combo. But this gap, about 95k, it's gonna be very hard to make that up for Bungwung, especially with his accuracy. Bungwung just needs to hold on for the rest of the map and. Potent and I think to solidify a memesical does need to find a break, but I mean I can't say for sure if even even if Bungwong FC's the rest of the map, I can't say for sure if he's gonna be able to solidify his point as the the score gap just grows more because of Bungwong dropping Ak. And they both see at the break. Bungwong is down by 100 k but he does have the score advantage. So, he needs to hold on for dear life. Not onto the accuracy, but onto the combo. As we get into this last Ki, as he's single tapping the flow patterns, I still can't believe he's single tapping most of the alt parts, but he's doing it. But unfortunately, even with the slight combo advantage, I don't think it's going to be enough. As he misreads that rhythm pause right there the rhythm switch up there he finds a break and that just solidifies the meme the meme skill point here up 3-0 another break point and it's looking very grim for bung right now you are he's not in a good position already two break points in favor of meme
It's not looking good. I shouldn't have altered. I can't believe that. I can't believe that's what he said after the map. I can't believe that. He he he's considering that he's that he's regretting not altering or that he's regretting not single tapping for those sections. But um, I mean, hey, I respect it. Please, what? what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Hey, hey. hi, buddy. Just, he's just messing around in my room. Still picking loud, no. It is not. Unfortunately, the musical wanting to go into another hidden map, but he just can't. Righty, by the way, that screenshot was for a match that's gonna happen in like two minutes, right? Musical instead. Oh shit! Instead of um going into a hidden pick, it's gonna go into Nomad Four, which is a complete switch up from what he intended to pick. Unfortunately, you cannot double pick, but this is a very, I would say, questionable pick due to. <laughs> Due to how Bungwung was single tapping for the majority of the alt map, you would have to assume that he's able to play speed of some sort. So picking this into Bungwung seems very scary, but Musical's gonna go for it. As we get into Nomad 4, this is about three minutes, about give or take. It might be less than that. For like very slightly less, but about three minutes of just straight 222 BPM bursts. This is very stamina draining. Um, and if it's not the stamina doing it for you, it's gonna be the sliders in between. You're gonna need to be careful on those. Make sure that you don't slider break. And unfortunately, Bung Wung is going to find a slider break on these sliders. Except I'm lying because I was a banjo miss. So. They're both holding strong, except Bung Wung is at 84 accuracy. And Memesicle is winning so far solely based off of accuracy. The gap is 13%. And that 13% is going to matter a lot as the score gap is hovering around 60k. And it just keeps growing solely based off of accuracy. I mean, Bangwong is just hoping for a musical break here because he knows that he cannot win with this act, but unfortunately Bangwong is going to be the one that breaks right before this break. And this is, this is not in a position you want to be for Bangwong. As we get into the second half of the map, maybe he's still holding on to the FC. And approaching 1000 combo, Musical does find a slight act drop, but 
it doesn't matter because he's still holding on to that combo. And even if he does find all these act drops, I don't think he's going to dip down as low as Fung Wong's act. <clears throat> and the gap just gets bigger and bigger as as it reaches 300k. And as we get into this last portion of the map, Musical is still holding on to an FC. And Bong Wong unfortunately is struggling. He was hoping he might be able to combo game Musical, but Musical is telling him no, I can only I don't I can't only hold act, I can also hold the FC. And Bong Wong unfortunately can't. He just keeps breaking. And as we approach the end of the map, I don't know, Memesick will start on his shake a bit. I don't know if he's going to be able to close out the FC, but unfortunately he does not as he shakes off the burst at the very end. This is his second FC choke. The first one being on Hidden 2 by like 60 combo. And I guess he's cursed to not FC these maps, but... It doesn't matter, he secures the point. And in a very dominant fashion. I'm going already kind of losing hope in this match. Very unfortunate for Bung Wong, as he is now down 0 to 4. Bung Wong needs to find. A point to win right now as if not
And I mean, I already mentioned that Bong Bong has been struggling in the Axie department for, this, for the majority of this match, but so far, Axie isn't looking too different right now. But Memesicle does find some misses in this slow part, giving the combo advantage to Bong Bong. And he's gonna be able to hold combo through this slow part, and it's going to build. The combo's going to build, and the score lead is just going to grow more and more. But as we approach this Ki, Bung Wong might miss, but Mimisigil does find some misses right before the Ki, fully resetting his combo and making it go into Bung Wong's favor even more. As Bung Wong does hold through the Ki, and Mimisigil unfortunately cannot. Bung Wong has found Mimisigil's Kryptonite and it's called AR-10 as Mimisigil is struggling and for once I think Bung Wong is in the lead for both combo and for accuracy as Bung Wong is still holding out to the FC past the first half of the map. And this is this is a delight for Bung Wong to see as he's as he knows I don't want to call it too early but the gap being 200k Bung Wong does find a break here but Mimsicle doesn't have much combo to fight back and Mimsicle has now no combo to fight back as he does break I mean this is the perfect this is a perfect chance for Bung Wong to get a point back at Musical. Stepping his foot into the match, saying that it's not over yet. There's still a chance. And as we are in the break, none of them are really cursed dancing, so I don't think any of them are gonna get the potential bounty, but I mean, hey, it's okay. What matters right now is that Bung Wong is still in the lead in both combo and score in every way possible. He's in the lead as we get into this last Ki. Both are holding, but at this point I think it's too far in the map. Even if Bung Wong AFKs for the rest of the map, it won't matter as the gap has reached 275k and as Bung Wong reached 500k score. That solidifies the point for Bung Wong, his first point of the match. And we're not going to be seeing a match point. This is this is the perfect scenario for Bung Wong. Because now he has a chance. It's not it's not a match point anymore. It is not a sweep. Even if Memesicle wins his next pick. Bung Wong still has another pick to fight back. And I mean, we saw with Memesicle, he initially wanted to pick Hidden 3, but was forced to pick Nomad 4. So I would only imagine that he picks Hidden 3 right here. Vibing to the song. I, I'm glad I got to listen to the song more. As Musical is taking his time with his pick. I mean, he switches up his pick initially, going from potentially hitting three to three, two, one, which I think does make sense because Musical did just lose. All, it was on Hard Rock, but he did just lose on the aim pick. So maybe switching up to. Tapping could be better for him instead. 
But once again, tapping is very scary into Bung Wong. But Bung Wong was struggling on the Nomad tapping pick. So, Musical might be able to get a point here and bring it to match point, but it is DT. Maybe it might be more comfortable for Bung Wong. I mean, he claims it's too slow for him to mash, but we'll have to wait and see. I mean, we already saw something similar in Nomad 4, but right now Meme School is holding almost 99 accuracy. Meanwhile, Bung Wong is struggling with 87 ack. But they are both still holding on to combo. As you get into its first PI. Right now, it is in Meme School's favor by about 50k. And that's solely based off the accuracy. Something that we have seen before, but maybe this might be Bung Wong's chance to have a different outcome than what we saw before. But that entirely relies on Mimsicle missing and Bung Wong holding. They're both still holding going into the second PI. Bung Wong is slightly improving his accuracy, but the longer that musical holds, the worse it looks for Bung Wong, no matter if he's still holding on the FC. Because musical just looks so comfortable. With his axe hovering around 98 still. And Bung Wong is still struggling with the accuracy. He's able to improve it slightly, but not enough to even approach Musical. And they're still holding almost three-fourths of the map. They're still double FCing. No breaks found as you get into this break. They both see they're still up seeing the only deciding factor is the accuracy. So, they both need to pray that they both hold. And unfortunately, Bung Wong does not, as he finds a break right before the final Ki. And that just decides the match. Not the match, I'm sorry. The map, sorry. As Mimsical is able to keep holding, and he closes out an FC. And now it goes into match point for Memesicle. And this is very, very good for Memesicle. But if you're Bung Wong, I mean, what do you pick? You can't pick Hard Rock anymore. You have to wait until your next pick, but that means two maps that you could potentially lose. Bung Wong trying to pick Hard Rock 1, but as we mentioned before, you can't double pick. And 
and he's stuck. His back is cornered. And he picks what musical was going to pick earlier. Picks hidden three. It might be a bit questionable seeing how Meme School wanted to pick it initially and how Bungwong did ban a hidden map and the only other hidden map left, Meme School did win in a convincing fashion. So this is a very gamble pick for Bungwong as this is aim and Bungwong has shown that he is proficient at that but it is unhidden, and it is a very different type of aim compared to Hard Rock 2. But I'm I'm glad that we got this map again. And this hidden three is 110 BPM base. So we're gonna be seeing around 220 BPM jumps. And Meme Skill does find an early miss. And this map is very easy to miss on. With it being 9.3 on hidden, and with the awkwardness of these jumps, you have to be on top of your game. And unfortunately, it does catch Bungwung about one fourth of the way through. And now the score flips over in Meme School's favor. Still holding combo around 300 combo. And Bungwung just finds another miss at the slow part. It's not looking good for Bungwung right now. He just needs to hold on for the rest. But as we get to the perfect stack, we're gonna see if this catches anyone. And it does catch Memesicle! And it doesn't catch Bungwung! They have practiced this map! And they know about the perfect stack they got through, albeit struggling with the accuracy a bit, but it doesn't matter as long as he holds. As the score gap hovers around 50k, it's just gonna shoot further into Meme Skill's favor as Bungwung just finds so many misses during that jump section. But Meme Skill finds a miss again. This, the combo is so close. But that just favors Meme Skull as the gap is around 70k for him. And as we get into the last third of this map, it doesn't really take a break as we get into these weird sliders here. Bungwong dropping slider ends at this section. I don't blame him. The rhythm change on those sliders is very tough. And Bungwong finds another miss. And this just solidifies it for musical, I believe. And as we approach the end of the map, I think Memesicle is going to be able to solidify this point and the match as the gap is now 150k. I don't think there's any way for Bungwong to fight back. There is no more time left for Bungwong and unfortunately this is the end of the road for Bungwong and his run in AIDS. As the map is now over and Memesicle finds the last point. And his GG's. Hello. He got cured of AIDS. <laughs> GG. Yeah, Meme Skill putting up an absolute master class. His average must be through the roof with him having two FCs and two FC chokes. He said he topped almost all of his locals in this match. And that's something you should be really proud of. As it, it was hard to fight back against that. And with that performance, it just 
brings the memesicle to win. And that'll be it for this match. There are two matches at Zero UTC in about 40 minutes, and um, I believe we're going to be streaming Chevy versus Kevin. Or Kevin. Sorry, I pronounced that wrong. But, um, I believe we're going to be streaming that match. And if we find another streamer, we might stream the other one, which is BBC Endure and the JPEG and Loses Bracket. That is a very exciting match to watch, especially when the tournament run is on the, li is on the line here. But I believe if we don't get another streamer, we're just going to be watching Chevy versus Kevin, um, which will be even even closer to match than you might think because of the skill set overlap from both of them. But we'll wait and see. We'll s but that'll be it for this match. And we'll see you in about 40 minutes.